Good day everyone, welcome to another Forex analysis with Blue Pips Forex. I'm Francis and in this week's forecast I'm going to be talking about Pound NZD, CHF JPY, Euro AUD and Pound CHF. As usual I'll be making a full breakdown of this pairs from the monthly time frame down to the daily time frame and I think the major levels I'll be paying attention to and um, the directions I expect this pairs to move over the next couple of months, weeks or days. As the case may be so without further ado let's get down to business all right so this is pound nzd and this is the monthly time frame and what we can see immediately first is that we have a market that came from this eye right here we had resistance at this point we had resistance at this point then after all that resistance down there we had a situation where the price started to form this ascending um channel at this point from the monthly time frame we had support down here we had resistance the price just consolidated for some time we tested the same area again as resistance that's the channel resistance before making all this drop down to the support of the channel climbed up came back we tested the support once again before making it to this resistance and after that we had this price that came to retest the support once again so from this um, area what we could expect next is a move from the support to at least this um, trend line at this point and um, probably we then start to see consolidation between these areas before a breakout so for now from the monthly time from what i would expect to see will be a rise of this price to this area over the next couple of months so let's see what we have from the weekly time frame. Alright, so this is the weekly time frame. And what we can see on this pair from the weekly time frame is a market that um, made all this push downwards. And after this push downwards, we have um, a push upwards. And remember from the monthly time frame, we expect to see price make it up into these eyes. Now, um, the market does not just move in a straight line. The market moves in trends which is characterized by higher highs and higher lows or lower highs and lower lows and in this case we expect it to be an uptrend to this um, level at this point which means we expect to see higher highs and higher lows so um, what I would then expect will be um, this retracement move to this area of structure down here you can see that this area is the most previous zone we have in the market you can see how that zone kept as acting as um structure you can see it even if we should go back so i would expect to see price since we already know that we have major level of support at this point right here you can see how the same area this um, area up here is acting as major level of structure um we can see how last two weeks rejected this area so um this last week that has just passed has already started the move lower so um this coming we can we expect to see price complete the move to this area of structure down here before the next move higher which um, I expect from the monthly time frame so let's see what we have from the daily time frame alright so this is the daily time frame now from the weekly time frame we expect the price to make it to this low before the move upwards which we expect and now we can see that price is at um, a level of support down here so what I would then be expecting be for price to give me a retracement move then if i'll get this retracement and that's when i'll be looking for short trades to this area right here now it's also important to note that from this level to this level is quite um yeah, it could take this coming week the whole of this coming week to make this move to this point so if at this area i'm going to see one of my valid trading signals i'll be taking a long trade for this daily retracement to this area where I'll then be positioning myself for a short trade to the overall um, weekly target before we start looking for long trades according to what we expect from the monthly time frame so this is what I expect from pound NZD a retracement to this area um, that's previous level of support which I expect to act as resistance at this point then from there I'll be taking short trade to the um, weekly support at this low before we start looking for um change in direction for the next move upward according to what we have from the monthly time frame so on the to the next pair on our list chf jpy all right 
So CHFJPY monthly time frame, what we can see is that um, the price has made it to this level of uh, this um, zone of resistance at this point. We can see the higher point of the resistance up here and lower point of the resistance, and the price just uh, made it to the lower point of the resistance. Now it's also important to know that this month has not come to an end yet. It ends on Monday, so we might still see price make it to the top of this um, resistance at this point. But as long as price remains below this zone, um, I would expect to see a drop to the previous level of um, resistance at this point. I would expect that area to then be acting as support at this area at this point over the next um, couple of months, which means I would expect to see price drop to this area before we start looking for next long trades following um, the um, pattern the market has given to us an impulse a correction another impulse then we'll be expecting a correction before the next impulse area uh, so let's see what we have from the weekly time frame and from the weekly time frame we can see all we can see is the market that got to that point two weeks ago we had this red candle that rejected this level of structure and this week um, we were expected to see the move downwards but um for some reason we had another rejection of the same level of structure again which means um this coming week we will most likely be seeing the move down to um, our monthly target at this point before the mo next um, impulse higher from the monthly time frame so now we can also see again that this market middle this move upward came down another impulse and after an impulse it's normal to expect a correction before continuation upwards so um, I can expect to see price make it to this low, taking that is already rejecting resistance at this point. So let's go and see what we have from the daily time frame. Alright, so this is the daily time frame. And what we can see from the daily time frame is um, uh, um, two ascending channels at this point. We have one at this point. We also have another mini ascending channel at this point. And uh, what we can still see is that price is um, rejecting this area and ad in the process of rejecting this monthly level of structure highlighted at this point um, the price created this double top pattern now we know that the neckline of the double um, double top pattern is at this point right here so we we'll still expect to see price make it to this low and probably this low so um, taking from the kind of um, price action we have here right now we um, you know that price is at support and price is above daily support so um, we will not be looking for any trading opportunities right now because we might just get a rejection of this area and after the rejection of this area the price will make it to the area I already highlighted from the monthly time frame um, the price will just make it to this eye before making the next drop downwards so right now um, I will not be in a hurry to take a trade on this pair, rather I will be waiting for at least a daily close below this channel. So if I will get a daily close below this channel, then on the retest of previous support at this point as new resistance, that's when I will be looking for short trades to um, 15.07 this coming week. Then if I will get a daily close below this area, then on the retest I will be taking short trades to the overall weekly uh, monthly target at this point. If I start looking for um, change in direction of this pair, for the long trade I talked about from the monthly time frame. So that's going to be all on CHFGPY. Alright, the next pair on our list is um, Euro AUD. And um, first of all, what we can see on Euro AUD is this ascending channel from the monthly time frame. You can see how from this area the price made it to the support at this point. From that support, we add the next move to resistance. From resistance, price made it um, came lower. We tested um, the same um, trend line. That's the channel resistance again for making it down to the channel support. After that, we had um, another rise in the price again to the resistance, of which we had the rejection. And from here, we can expect to see the next move to the support at this point, right here. So, overall, from the monthly time frame, I would expect to see the price drop to support at this point another important thing to keep in mind is that we had this area of structure right here we can see we had support at this point we had resistance at this point we had resistance all through this area even um 
at the close of last month we still had resistance that we are holding as resistance but um with the current data we have price is threatening to close below that area although we still know that monday is the last day of this trading month and until monday's close we can we might still see the price close back above but as long as price remains below then we will expect them um, to see a drop in the price of um, euro AUD down to this um, monthly um, trend line so let's see what we have from the weekly time frame all right so this is the weekly time frame on um, euro AUD and um, we have this ascending um, trend line at this point you can see how price kept finding support at that point we had a fake break at this point a break back above a re test and rejection of the same area again before this push to the upside and then price came back lower again closed below this ascending trend line right here we had the test and we expected to see price make the move lower immediately but um, for some reason we just had consolidation in this whole area which is part of trading um, so right now what we have is a market that re retested and rejected this area of structure right here we can see that um, this area acted as support i can see the same area acting as resistance at this point right here and as others confluence we can see that um, this ascending trend line at this point also meets at the same area with this previous support right here which um, held as resistance back here so um that was what foiled this move to the downside so this coming so um from the weekly time frame we have rejection of um resistance at this point and we can expect to see price move lower just like we already have from the monthly time frame so the weekly time frame and the monthly time frame is basically showing us the same thing so let's see what we have from the daily time frame all right so this is the daily time frame what we can see from the daily time frame is that price is currently at um daily support so with price as support and um, we cannot be looking for short trades so if you didn't take any short trade from this area right here then you don't want to be taking any short trade at this point because uh, uh, might have a situation where the price will just make a retracement to this point here and that's what i expect to happen because um you can see that this area acted as resistance back here we had support back here we had a break without any retest so what i'll then be expecting we see this um, will be to see this area act as um resistance again this coming week over the next couple of weeks then if this area will hold as resistance then i'll then be looking for short trades um following what i have from the weekly time frame but for now this is an area i'll be paying attention to within this coming week which means from this whole zone of structure down here if i'm going to get one of my valid trading signals i'll be taking a long trade to this area right here um, previous supports at this area which i expect to act as resistance before i start um, positioning myself for the major short trade on this pair so that is all for euro AUD and then the last pair on our list pound chf so on pound chf we had a market that um rejected supports at 1644 um after a rejection of this support um we what we expect next will be a rise to um, the next level of resistance we have and we can see um, that the rise has already started and uh, it's not over yet i still expect to see this price make it up into 23.79 over the next couple of months so let's see what we have from the weekly time frame all right so this is the weekly time frame and what we can see from the weekly time frame is a market that from this support right here mid one push upwards to this area made a retracement made another push to this area a retracement and it's already making the push higher so um from the weekly time frame we're already on the impulse and i expect to see price make it to this area over the next coming weeks or week so um that's basically what i have on the weekly time frame i expect to see continuation of what we already had this past week this coming week to either this eyes or the overall monthly eye at 2379 so this is what we have from the daily time frame all right so this is the daily time frame and um, we have an ascending 
channel at this point we can see how um, the price came from this area right here found support at this point um, came to horizontal level of um, resistance rejected it again to the support of this channel from that level we had the next move to the channel resistance which actually aligned with an horizontal level of structure at this point if we are going to scroll back we will see that the same area was acting as support we had support at this point, we had support at this point so we already know that this area is um, an important level of structure and we can see how the price just rejected it and started consolidating between this um, level of support at this point and this level of resistance at this point and while this was happening there was no trade according to my um, rules of trading I don't like to trade range because um, it's very unpredictable that's um, according to my um, style of trading so now we have a break of the range and a confirmation that price is continuing this move upwards so now how will I be proceeding on this um, pair it's simple I will expect to see price make a retest of this area of structure at this point here that's previous resistance at this point I expect to see price retest that area of structure and if I will see this area hold as support then I'll be looking for long trades from this area right here with good risk to reward to my viral target at um, 21.97 over the next coming weeks over the next coming days or weeks as the case may be so this is going to be all with this week's forecast if you enjoyed this forecast do like subscribe click on the bell notification to enable you get our content whenever we upload them also share this video with your friends until we meet in the next video do remain um, profitable and have a wonderful weekend